Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In this video, I will show you where to access free resources for your Moodle site. You heard correctly, 100% royalty free Moodle resources. These resources include courses, quizzes, glossaries, competency frameworks, books, web pages, and so much more. These resources can be used by anyone or can assist you if you need some inspiration for your next Moodle course. Let me show you where you can access it and how you can add it to your Moodle website. So let's open a new tab and type in moodle.net. Press enter on your keyboard and you'll be taken to the moodle.net website. Here you can create a new account if you don't have an account, but if you already have an account, you can sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to this page here and you'll see if you scroll down, all the resources are listed here. You can click on see more resources and it will take you to a page where you can access the various resources available. You can also go into collections or per subject or per people. So what I usually do is I click in the search box here and I type in, let's search for mathematics. Press enter on my keyboard and it will show me all the resources pertaining to mathematics. Okay, here you can see in the top left hand corner, this is a Moodle course. And this is an H5P activity. If you scroll down, you'll see all the relevant resources pertaining to this topic. You can scroll down and you can even load more resources. Here you'll see this is a CSV file, a web page, more H5P resources and so forth. You can also go into collections or per subject or people. You can filter it down even further. Okay, so let's go back. In the search box here, you can also type in the particular topic you're looking for, say mathematics, and press enter, and you'll end up on the same page with the same resources. So let's scroll down. Here you'll see you can access it per subject. So yes, natural science, mathematics and statistics. I can click on that and it will take me to the various resources. Here you'll see a web page, H5P document um, and also PDF documents. Okay, so let's go back. If you want to see all the resources pertaining to mathematics, you'll click on see all and it will show you all the resources related to mathematics. can load more resources. So let's say I want to use this Moodle course. Okay, I'll click on it. And it provides me with information about the uploader, the license, you'll see there's Creative Commons, the type of uh, resource, and this is a course, the level of the course, when it was originally created, and the language in which the course is. Okay. So there are three options available here. I can either send it to Moodle, I can add it to my collection, or I can download the file, okay? So you need to be logged in here. Yeah, as you can see, I'm logged in. Okay? So if I click on send to Moodle, it will ask me for my Moodle website URL. I type it in here and I click on send. It will take me to my Moodle website. Yeah, I need to confirm that I want to include it, I want to add it to my Moodle site. I click on confirm and here you will see a breakdown of what you will be adding or what's included within that particular course. So I can scroll down and see what's available. So here you can see there's a label, assignment, a forum, a label, assignment, forum. And all these resources are included in that particular course that I've just added to my Moodle site. So I'll click on continue. Again, it asks me which course I want to include it in. I want to restore it in an existing course and I can select 
an existing course. I want to include it in this course here, free Moodle resources. I click on continue. Now I need to select what I what activities I want to include. So I'll leave out the enrolled users, scroll down and click on next. And on my next screen, I can even further filter it down by deselecting certain elements that I don't want to include in my course. I'll leave it as is, and then I'll click on next. Scroll down, and these are all the resources that I want to include in my course. I'll click on perform restore. It will restore that course within the course I've identified and it will now take me to that course. So here you'll see uh, the free Moodle course. There's all the resources that I've just added to my course. And here you'll see everything that's included within that particular course. I can also download this file by clicking on download and it will download to my computer. And from here, I can restore it into my Moodle website. Let's go again, click, type in mathematics. And this time I want to include a quiz. Okay, I can even filter it further by typing in quiz. And here it will show me all the quizzes that's available on the Moodle.net platform. So here you'll see functional skills for ICT. I click on that. Now I can either send it to my Moodle site or I can download the file and add it manually. Let's send it to my Moodle site. I click on, I can add my URL in here. I'll click on send. I'll click on confirm here. And now I can see a breakdown of what I am including in the, in the course or what the file actually is that I'm adding to my Moodle site. Again, I'll select the restore into an existing course and I'll select my existing course free Moodle resources. I'll click on continue. I'll make sure that uh, enrolled users are not included. I'll scroll down, I'll click on next. I'll scroll down, click on next again. And then I click on perform, restore. It will restore that quiz. I'll click on continue. And now I need to find that quiz. So it's uh, functional skills. I need to find it where it restored. There's the functional skills quiz. I'll click on that. I'll preview the quiz. And here you can see the quiz questions all included within your course. Okay, so let's go back to our Moodle.net. For the next resource to download or to add to your Moodle course, let's type in book. And here you'll see all the books available on this platform. I can click on see all and it will show me all the books available. Okay, here's a class 8 SST interactive book. Analyzing books and other printed text. And I'll use this resource here. I click on time management proven techniques. I'll click on send to my Moodle site. First, I need to make sure that this is um, Creative Commons, the license, as well as the language. Okay, and then the level. I'll click on send to my Moodle. Make sure that this is my URL. Click on send. Here, I'll confirm this. I'll make sure I select the correct course I want to include it in. So I'll include it in this course. Create a file resource. I'll click on continue. And it's been added to my course. Okay, I can search for it. There's time management proven techniques. I'll click on that and it will take me through that book activity. Okay. One other option to use is to actually download the file and create a book and then include it in the book. Okay. If you don't want it to open in a new window, just go to the resource. Make sure that editing is turned on. 
go to that particular resource. So there's my resource. I'll click on the ellipsis icon. I'll click on edit settings. And then I'll scroll down and under appearance, I'll click on embed. I then click on save and display. And you'll see it will now be embedded in your Moodle on the Moodle page. Okay. Let's go back. Let's close that. Go back. So now the next resource we'll be looking for is a web page. So there you'll see all the web pages. I'll click on see all. And now I can choose a web page and include it in my Moodle website. So there's a Moodle course. There's a Moodle web page. So there's slides for configuring pin tabs in a browser. It's a PDF and here's a web page. Let's load more. Okay, so let's include this web page here. So I'll click on that. I'll send it to my Moodle site. Make sure that this is my URL. Click on send. Click on confirm. Select the correct course I want to include it in, create a URL, click on continue. And now we need to find it where I included it in my course. So there's the WebQuest pre-URL. I'll click on it, click on the link and it will take me to that link or web page. I can even, I can even embed it so that it's embedded, the web page embedded in my Moodle site more on that later so basically this is it you select the resource you want to use you can either send it to your moodle site or you can open the link open the link or add it to your collection okay if you go to moodle.net again the home page you can also specify or also filter it down. So let's click on see more resources. You can filter it down with just showing you the subjects. So let's click on subjects and here you'll see uh, there's subjects like education, motor vehicles, all these subjects they are content for. So if you select one, let's say education science, you'll see it lists all the resources under that particular subject. So these are the web pages, URL, PDF, all the resources available under this subject. Let's click on education. And here you'll see all the resources available under education. There are currently 456 resources. So these are all the resources available within each of these subjects. If you click on the subject, you'll see the amount of resources available within that particular subject. If we go back, type in, let's say science, it will show you all the science resources like courses, H5P activities, web pages, and so forth. You click on see all, and it will show you all the resources available. If you want to add them to your particular Moodle site, you just click on the resource and then send to your Moodle site. Make sure that your URL is included in the URL box and then click on send. So let's look at H5P activities. Here you'll see there are various H5P activities. I'll click on H5P. You'll see the uploader there and a description of the resource. I'll click on send to my model and make sure that the license shows me that I can use it free of charge. Make sure that uh, the level is okay for my students as well as the language. I'll click on send to my Moodle. I'll make sure that this is my Moodle URL. I'll click on send. I'll click on confirm. And then I'll select my course I want to include it in. I'll make sure that uh, it asks me choose the content display format. And I'll add it to an H5P activity or I can create a file resource. So I'll add it to an H5P activity. I click on continue. 
and it's included in my course. So I'll just click on the H5P activity here, typing mathematical equations, and here you'll see the H5P resource. And this is how easy it is to actually access the resources on Moodle.net, free to use in your courses. Make sure that the license allow you to use it freely. And then make sure you sign up. And also on the homepage, you can actually follow people or creators of these resources. I really hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.